whether you like it or don't like it, sit down and look at it because it's the best going today. Woo! G5 Jeff TV, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Please share this video, support your boy. Support good content at all times. All social media is in the description box. And please hit that bell icon so you'll be notified when I drop that heat. This video is sponsored by my boy Fast Classic. His mixtape is in the description box. It is absolutely free. Definitely give him a download, give him a listen. And this video is sponsored by my boy Matt. Definitely check his apparel out on IG at we or from. Now, July 12th, 2019, Amir Khan is going to be fighting in Saudi Arabia for a big bag of money. And the person he was supposed to fight was in a car accident. So they had to find a replacement. And they found no other than, <laughs> than Billy Dibb. You don't know who Billy Dibb is. Billy Dibb used to be signed with 50 Cent. When 50 Cent had his promotional company, that didn't work out. Billy Dibb was in the ring with Tevin Farmer last year and got thoroughly dominated. And that's who Tevin Farmer won his title from. And Billy Dibb has been around for a long time. But the whole point that I'm making with Billy Dibb is he's naturally a 130 135 pound fighter and we starting to see a trend where guys are going up one weight class two weight classes and then you label it as them daring to be great no they paying you a nice bag of money and that's why you're doing it that's the case with billy dib billy dib was supposed to have been retired after the tevin farmer fight but you know money talks at the end of the day and we all get it. Amir Khan, on the other hand, he's fighting a guy that's a natural 130, 135 pound fighter. Amir Khan is coming off of a loss to arguably pound for pound number one, Terrence Bud Crawford. And it's a shame that Amir Khan kind of checked out because the fight was starting to get a little interesting. Uh, you could see the chess match developing. And. Me, personally, I think Amir Khan robbed us of that chess match that could have went down um, long term between uh, himself and Terrence Bud Crawford. But, you know, you can't knock Amir Khan for fighting for the big bag of money out there in Saudi Arabia. Um, I think this is the lane that Amir Khan needs to be in from here on out, fighting for the biggest bag of money possible and the lowest risk. And that's exactly what this is. I'm not knocking Amir Khan because it's a late replacement. But at the end of the day, if Amir Khan gets hurt, buzzed, or whatever the case may be by Billy Dib, he should just hang him up. Just hang him up. This is the first time Amir Khan has fought since maybe the Paulie Malignaggi fight way back in the day where I'm not expecting any chin glass on the, in the ring. I'm not expecting for Amir Khan to get hurt. I'm not expecting no chin glass, and I'm expecting American to get Billy Dibb up out of there within four rounds. If it takes longer than four rounds, he needs to hang it up. If American gets hurt, he needs to hang it up. If he gets knocked down or buzzed, he needs to hang it up. Let me remind you, American is the same person that says that he can beat Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather Jr. This is the same American. So... I don't expect much from Amir Khan these days, but in this fight, I expect for him to not get hurt by a 130-pound fighter. Point blank, period. Point blank, period. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. G5 Jeff TV, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Please share this video, support your boy. Support good content at all times. I appreciate y'all. Peace.